What comes to your mind when you see a crystallized, granulated or semi-solid honey? There's a good chance that you might dismiss it as fake or adulterated honey. Due to the popular myth that pure honey doesn't crystallize, but the reality is far from it. Contrary to the popular myth, crystallization of honey is a natural phenomenon. Natural honey after extraction from comb tends to crystallize sooner or later. The speed of crystallization depends on the source of flower from which honey bees collect nectar. For example, if honey bees collect nectar majorly from mustard flower, the honey is likely to crystallize faster, where acacia and jamun flower honey take several months or longer to crystallize. Crystallization is a process by which natural honey preserves itself and will not rot for ages. In fact, honey which was found in Egyptian pyramids was suitable for human consumption even after 3000 long years. And yes, that honey was in crystallized form. The irony is that in India even the educated class of consumers live with this myth. They perceive crystallized honey as fake and adulterated in spite of clear instructions on the honey label. This myth has done so much damage that the availability of natural honey in the market has become scarce. People selling genuine honey feel discouraged while people selling synthetic honey and denatured honey are flourishing. Most commercial brands avoid packing natural honey. They either denature honey through high heat, ultrafiltration and by adding anti-granulating chemicals or simply pack synthetic honey like high fructose corn syrup or rice syrup which does not crystallize at all. According to the recent data, more than 90% of mustard honey produced in India is exported. The beekeepers who extract this highly beneficial honey find it hard to sell it to the consumers because of the prevailing myth about the crystallization. Therefore, the only choice left for them is to sell this honey to the exporters at low prices. However, in developed countries like America and Europe, they don't have this kind of myth. They sell crystallized honey by labeling it as set honey and that too at respectable price. Coming to the science of the crystallization process. Honey is a highly concentrated solution of monosaccharides called dextrose and levulose that constitute more than 70% of honey. When honey is present in clean wax comb, it is in the liquid form because honey bees maintain around 35 to 40 degree of temperature. Once the honey is extracted from the comb, the dextrose which is less soluble tries to separate from the solution and form an anhydrous crystal which is pale or white in color. The speed of this separation or crystallization process depends on four factors. The major one is the source of the flower, as each flower has a different ratio of dextrose and levulose in their nectar. If the quantity of dextrose is more, honey is likely to crystallize much faster. If it is less, then the crystallization process may take several months or longer. Another major factor is the presence of dust, pollen and wax particle in honey. They can act as nuclei of crystallization and therefore help crystallize honey faster. Temperature also plays an important role, as the colder temperature speeds up the crystallization process. That is why every label of honey around the world reads, do not refrigerate honey. This is because refrigeration hastens the process of crystallization. It also reads, if honey is crystallized, keep in warm water or sunlight. Because the honey comes back to liquid form when it reaches 40 degrees centigrade. Another factor is the period of immobility. Normally, if you're using honey daily, it will not crystallize because daily movement prevents crystals from settling down. But when it is left untouched, there is a very high chance that it will crystallize faster. The speed of crystallization affects the texture of crystallized honey. If the process of crystallization is faster, then there will be many tiny crystals resulting in a smooth texture. If the process is slower, then the crystals will be larger and fewer resulting in grainy texture. The good thing is that any kind of crystallized honey can be converted into liquid honey by immersing it in hot water or keeping it in sunlight. However, care should be taken not to heat beyond 45 degrees otherwise honey will start losing its nutritional value. So next time you come across the crystallized honey, never perceive it as fake or adulterated. Instead, educate people about it. We believe that people will start getting genuine honey once they come out of this evil myth.